Hi all, this is Mamta Pandey from my channel MP Digital Tech. Welcome to all on my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to take you all to the topic name is types of linking on the website. And this is video number 12 of on page ACF series. But before that, I will request you all to like, share my video and subscribe my channel too to get update on another topic of digital marketing. So guys, in this video we will discuss about types of linking on the website. And the types of linking is first linking is internal linking, second one is external linking, third one is broken linking. So each each and every linking will discuss one by one in different different slides. So first we'll discuss about internal linking. So let me read definition for this. An internal link connect one page of a website to a different page on the same website so guys on the website as we know as we can see there are multiple uh, pages are connected to each other on same website so there suppose if you are clicking on any link or you are clicking on any icon and that's redirecting to different page but on the same website is known as internal linking and if you want to see as example so i can show you as, as example let's come to one website i already have opened one website this website name is craftspillar.com and this is online shopping for clothing so here you can see this is website and suppose you are clicking this this option there are so many options as per your choice you can do shopping so suppose you are clicking on oven saris so if you are clicking on it it is redirecting on different page but on the same website so this is what meaning of internal linking that means this page is interlinked to this website for this this is what internal linking okay so then we'll discuss about next one next point then next point is internal linking can be done by using href tag in html so uh, guys when we write code html code for the website so that time when you want to link any page like another page on one page so that time you can use this tag known as href tag okay then the third point is it is easy fast and free to create yeah it is easy fast and free to create why because we are creating on our website okay so we have right to create the number of link we want to create on our website there is no restriction of creating interlinking okay so now we'll discuss about external linking now let's move to external linking slide so let me read definition of external linking the external linking navigate the visitor away from your sites to another website so by in this in external linking means on your website uh, suppose some link is given and if you are clicking that link and you are redirecting to on other website is known as external linking so these also i can show you as example so on same website just scroll down this website come to home page of this website and just scroll down so this is uh yeah you see a Facebook page of this website is uh, linked here and Twitter page G plus and this Pinterest page these four pages of different website are linked here so if you click on F means Facebook if you click on it so you are redirecting to Facebook you are not redirecting on the same website so this is what example of external linking okay see this is Facebook page of crafts villa so this is Facebook, this is Facebook website, this is not this scrapsvilla.com, okay. So this is what example of external linking. And the next point is difficult to control. Yeah, this is difficult to control because see on Facebook we can get link easily. But uh, when you are doing, I'll be, when I'll be making video on how to get link from other other websites so that time i'll be explaining it's difficult to control why because that time we have to uh, get authorized we should uh, we should be authorized 
uh, from the website they should approve our request then only we can get link from the website so this is difficult to get from other other website so this is difficult to that's what this is difficult to control now the next slide is we'll discuss about broken linking so as you can see i have written definition for these two a broken link or dead link is a link on a web page that no longer works because the content or page is removed by the publisher so again this is uh, this is what uh, suppose on your website you publish some post as per your requirement suppose some festival is coming and according to festival you you are giving some offer to customer okay and the festival is gone now you remove that page so if you are removing the page but still that link is available on your website so if some customer is clicking to the link and they are redirecting uh, somewhere like they are getting blank they are not getting anything so that is called as broken link so guys you have to control broken link you should not keep any a single broken link on your website and i'll be making another video too in that i'll be giving complete explanation about broken linking because it's a really important part of on page seo in that i'll be uh, explaining how to find broken link uh, which is available on your website and how can you rectify how can you fix that issue and uh, because in this video i'm not going to give complete explanation uh, broken link is very important part of on page issues so i'll be making different video in that i'll be giving complete explanation how to find broken link and how can you fix broken link and one more thing it is called as 404 error too why because if in such a case if you are clicking some link and that is broken link so you may get this kind of error so this is what part of broken link only so i i hope guys you are clear with this all topic three topic and for broken link i'll be making another video i'll be giving complete explanation in that and related to these topic if you have any doubt while understanding please ask me through the comment definitely i'll try to reply of the comment guys thank you all